Hi, and welcome to Manufacturing and Product Design. I'm your instructor, Daniel Mireles, and today I'll be walking you through different alternatives to our software in the classroom of SOLIDWORKS. That way, as a student, you can stay on task if you fall behind or you miss a day, you know how to do it at home. So let's go ahead and get started. We have two different softwares I recommend you today. First one's gonna be Fusion 360. And the second is gonna be Onshape. The reason I recommend Onshape as a first choice is because Onshape was developed by the same creators of SOLIDWORKS. So if we open up a model here, you're gonna notice the layout is almost exactly the same as SOLIDWORKS. We have our planes, we have our design cube in the corner or view cube. We have a design tree, we have our model, we could build assemblies, we could create drawings, and best of all, it is free. It is free as long as you make a student account. You can even click on Learning Center and it will take you to self-guided tutorials where you can actually earn certificates in the Onshape software. Also, you could click on Part Studio, right click on it. You could export, you change format to SOLIDWORKS and you could send your drawing to your flash drive save it, take it to the classroom, and pick up in the classroom where you left off at home. So you're going from the classroom to home, home to classroom without skipping a beat, helping you stay on track with all the assignments. Second option would be Fusion 360. Here, I actually used their cloud-based version, which you could use from a Chromebook, as long as you have internet access. The other option would be to download the actual software, but for now, I'm showing you how it works on the cloud. A little bit different layout, but we still start with the sketch. We have our 3D modeling tools. Our design tree is gonna be down here at the bottom. We call it a timeline. And we still have all our different view options here, our view cube. But there is gonna be a little bit of a learning curve to Fusion because it is different. So I would stick with Onship if you can. It's easier to get in, easier to load, less requirements to get in versus Fusion. And Onshape is gonna be a little bit more familiar and it's a little bit more simplified compared to SOLIDWORKS. So I hope this video helps you decide how to actually pick up from the classroom and continue working at home on your spare time or just expanding your learning. Good luck.